So Samsung just announced a new Exynos chipset and as the title of this video says, it is called the Exynos 2400. The last Exynos chipset that we got under this series was the Exynos 2200 that powered the Galaxy S22 series. In fact, the recently launched S23 FE also has the Exynos 2200 in some markets. This year, however, we did not get any new Exynos chips, so that is the reason why the Galaxy S23 series has the same chip for every market, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But that might not be the case next year with the Galaxy S24 series because as per the reports, the S24 series will have either the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or the Exynos 2400, depending on the market. Now there is also a new report which says that only the S24 and S24 Plus will have different chipsets for different markets. For the S24 Ultra, it will be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 only, no matter what the market is. Anyways, let us talk about all the things Samsung shared regarding its Exynos 2400 SoC. Now, Samsung did not share all the details, but what the company has shared are the improvements over the Exynos 2200. The CPU performance of the Exynos 2400 is 1.7 times or 70% better than the Exynos 2200. But that is not the highlight of this chip. The main highlight is the AI performance because as per Samsung, the AI performance is improved by 14.7 times or 1370% compared to the Exynos 2200. If you think for a second, this is a massive improvement over the predecessor. At the event, Samsung also introduced a new AI tool for its upcoming smartphones to showcase the text-to-image AI generation using Exynos 2400. Finally, Samsung revealed that the GPU of the Exynos 2400 is the Xclipse 940. For comparison, the Exynos 2200 had the Xclipse 920 GPU which was powered by the AMD's RDNA 2 architecture. The Xclipse 940 is powered by the RDNA 3 architecture, but interestingly, Samsung did not reveal how much of an improvement this new GPU brings over the previous one. Now, if the leaks are to be believed, the Exynos 2400 will have a 10-core CPU which includes 1 Prime Cortex-X4 core, 5 Cortex-A720 cores out of which 2 are high-frequency ones and the other 3 are low-frequency ones, and finally 4 Cortex-A520 cores. And as for the manufacturing process, it is based on the 4 nanometer LPP Plus process by Samsung. This chipset is also rumored to support up to 320 megapixel camera sensors and 8K video recording at up to 60 FPS with its new ISP. Well, there are indeed a lot of upgrades on paper, but as always, the main thing is how the Exynos 2400 will perform in real world. Because every year we see a new Exynos chipset that has some crazy high-end specs on paper, but eventually when it comes to the real world, it does not perform up to the mark. Anyways, what are your expectations with this new Exynos 2400 chipset? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.